It's week four of the NFL, and we've got a showdown in the NFC East. It's the Cowboys and the Eagles, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 22. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago, boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles fly, as they get ready to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Cowboys, they've got to be pleased with the start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three, Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. We go on EA Sports. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second round pick who started his career at Alabama, then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. And for how good he is throwing the ball, it's his running that makes him so dangerous. He had a couple of touchdowns on the ground in last week's game, so we'll see what they dial up for him for this one. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Well, let's check on the call. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. They go play action with Hertz. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And oh, Johnson dinged up a bit. Snip. Down. Hopefully nothing serious. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Philadelphia. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles on just two plays have taken the lead. Boy, A.J. Brown, I mean, one of the best in the NFL with the ball in his hands, and there's another example why. And that should serve as a big warning to this defense. They know now that they have to stick close to these receivers because they have the ability to break games wide open after the catch, and that one wound up in the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Time for Dak Prescott of the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game. Almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in 
get calm before you go for the big strikes. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. The give is to Elliott. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. A first down carry by Elliott. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Second and four. Again to Elliott. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Prescott now from the 50. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Landon Graham able to record his fifth sack of the season. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. On third down, it's Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Prescott. They sink it back right around the 41-yard line. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, left side to Lamb. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Prescott to throw it. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. From the 17, Prescott to the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Prescott from the gun on third. And that is incomplete. Good defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And 
And he stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, he had a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Throwing his hurts out to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Miles Sanders' first carry of the game, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Hurt sets up to throw it. sideline but he's not gonna have a first down they say he was out of bounds so a big call there that brings up fourth a deep ball down that right sideline and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was they'll try and throw for it with hurts and he overshot him there it's out of bounds incomplete and now following the incomplete pass we'll get a timeout here for an injured player well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. They go jet sweep, Washington with it. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's a wide out. When you take that hand off and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Here's Prescott. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get their pass Brandon Graham able to record his fifth sack of the season. That's three sacks now. That's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team... They lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. From 
the shotgun. It's Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And at the seven yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown! Michael Gallup, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive, four plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. On oh, the return, Boston Scott. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, caused all of that. it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Let's go. score after one right here on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia and it's the Eagles in possession. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Now a carry for Sanders. Sanders a first down still going. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Four yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete, nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Now he'll escape to his right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down out of the gun it's Elliott and unable to get downhill there so he'll take this up to about the 37 
It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They have more people to the football and snuffed out the play. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first down. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. On second and 11 now. Hurt. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Micah Parsons just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Smith. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Here they go. Brandon Graham in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott down. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. Now they have a first down and more. And finally, wrestled down at the 11. 80 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Prescott looks to throw on first. 
Going left side here and it's complete. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. They'll contain him to just four, second down. This is Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. PAT up and good by Rosas, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Hurts throw taken in by Pascal. A gain of six there on first. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Here's Hurts to throw. Got his man, it's our Sega Whiteside. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as he'll be marked out a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they bring him to the ground, just shot in midfield. That was a nicely run slam route. What the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run an and he will go down. A Cowboys sack. You better talk to your they boy. get to him for a loss boy. of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They'll roll him out right. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That scramble good for 13 yards, but not good enough for a first down. It's fourth. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six yard line. Well, someone's gonna be happy with that effort. You know who else is gonna be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> he's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 10. Three yards the game there, second down. 
Looking to throw. Prescott. And oh, he crops up the football near his own goal line. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now Elliott. A little juke, and a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Out now comes the Cowboys punter, standing just about on his own goal line. Thirty-five yards that time on the punt, and this offense will take over right at the midfield strike with a first and ten. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. After the sack on first down, Hurts, he's going deep for Brown. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down. Oh, and Hertz is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Me and you all day. All day. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. They're going to try and throw. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey where you see the final score there. Aaron Jones, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, let's get down to Baltimore to check in on the Ravens at home at MNT Bank Stadium. And they have the lead over the visiting New York Jets. Odell Beckham, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world and see what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And that game all tied with the visiting Patriots. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And a big part of their success on the scoreboard is their success in the running game. Over 100 yards as a team in those first two quarters of play. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia and Brandon Guy. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. On second down, Elliott once more, and he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. 
And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. 111 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And they'll get this down to the 10. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one yard line. Here's Elliott. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. His second touchdown. touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Rosas now to add the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. But to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leads towards admiration. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll run, it's Sanders. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. Hurts, rolling to his left. 20, and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play there on the keeper. On third down, he obviously wants to throw the football, but there's nowhere to go with it, so he takes off and goes. And now as he gets to the first down marker, he blows right past it and picks up big yardage. Partner, that's a great bit of improvisation. 
So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run with Sanders. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about four yards. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got you. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Steps away to his left. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still now facing a fourth down after the scramble. Oh, the sneak, it's Hurts. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Oh, the sneak, it's Hurts. And he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. Jalen Hurts with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. Instead of having to play follow the leader there, the leader led. I like that. And, and he likes that, doesn't he? First and goal, let me do the job. Because you know when he falls into the end zone after falling behind those big, big guys who pushed up front, that's a pretty good celebration, isn't it? Gives him a little street cred in the locker room, too, doesn't it? Street cred, and then when they go out to dinner afterwards, he's still picking up the check. Elliot Good with a PAT, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. No run back here, down to a D, and this drive will start at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Elliott a first down and more. He's at the 40. The 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 75 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Rosas good with the extra point. And that'll make this a three score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Being chased out left. He's got a first down past the 30. And finally taken down at the 36-yard line. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Steps away. 
And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. He's got a man complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's their third. Defense. Man, they got to let play. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Yeah, he'll manage to break and tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. Three corners have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Now back to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You blocked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Prescott, Washington's got it, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line, and that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. They'll run with Elliott. Oh, he bowls over him. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. <laughs> 244 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Elliott. And he's going to be down at the 35. Game of seven. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack it back at the 36. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. And I give this time to the tailback. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. And he will have a Cowboys first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. On first and ten, Prescott. 
And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down, it's Elliott. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Prescott. To the right side, incomplete to Washington. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. So that may be not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor in this stage of the game, is in their favor. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working. That means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. They're going to look to throw out to his left. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there, and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. On first and 10, it's Hurts. That's over the middle and caught by Ortega Whiteside. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Open man, Arthega Whiteside. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. From the 45 on second down, Hurts. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level with everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Inside the red zone here. They'll look, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Excellent work that time to get free, and for his exploits, he's going to be left with just a third and three. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Throwing his Hurts on the move to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Moore, Jalen Hurts, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Elliott good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try to run some clock now with Elliott. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. So here we go, Charles. Third down. Any chance you're throwing? I think so. I think you can keep the clock rolling here. Prescott. Prescott to throw. Prescott to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere, but to no avail. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Fielded just inside the 20. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Roll it, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. Thank goodness. That means this next drive is going to begin first and goal already at the five-yard line. Prescott, he goes down to a knee. And that should just about do it. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for Dallas, that early momentum can